Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how we can create and configure the AWS DynamoDB using Terraform um, and doing the CICD task via GitHub Actions. Okay, so as you see in my screen, so this is a, a pictorial overview of my this demo. So uh, as you see, so it has two big logos. One is GitHub account, and the this other one is the AWS account. Okay. So, uh, so what I, what do I mean by this is so I have the Visual Studio Code where I will be doing my um, um, uh, uh, infrastructure as a coding using Terraform um, uh, language. Yeah. Once I am done with my um, uh, coding, I would be uh, pushing those Terraform files in the uh, in the upstream branch, which is sitting in the GitHub account. Okay. Nothing but in, uh, in, in the uh, in a repo, right? I have created a repo. So in that repo, I have I have also created the branches. Uh, that is uh, future branch one and and main branch one. Yeah. So whenever I make changes and push us to one of this branch, so that uh, the the Terraform file will be uh, pushed to the upstream branch. Okay, from where the the actual right the, the GitHub Actions which actually runs the Terraform um, files will be invoked, and then at the end it will create uh, the required resource in the AWS account. Right, that is DynamoDB in this one. Okay, so as you see in this uh, picture, right at the end I'm creating a DynamoDB with a table. Right, a DynamoDB table where uh, the architecture uh, of the table, right, or, or scheme of the table is something like this, where it has a, a primary key called artist and um, a title song. Okay, title song is nothing but um, um, a song, right? So that is nothing but a sort key, right? So I'm, I'm using, I'm defining these two um, attributes as a primary and the ordered uh, key, okay. And indeed, so right. So what can be the uh, the table name? You can guess it. Right? Just I have just given as a uh, Indian songs. Okay, so I will just show you while working through the code. Okay, so in general, so the demo, my demo includes um, a Terraform coding at the Visual Studio Code and pushing the changes to the upstream branch. Uh, nothing which is sitting in a GitHub account repo, right? And which will in turn invoke the GitHub Actions that is Terraform plan and Terraform apply. And finally, we will be end up with creating the required resource in the AWS account that is. Uh, dynamo db yeah a uh, dynamo db table okay so this is a brief about uh, uh, my demo so let me quickly walk you through the code then i will show you the demo of how you can do the how you can create the same resource using terraform and doing the cicd task via github actions okay so let's go to this uh, visual studio code so this is visual studio code where i have uh, my complete environment ready when I say environment, right? So I have cloned my GitHub repo, which is presented in the GitHub account. This is my GitHub repo. It contains two GitHub actions. One is Terraform plan and Terraform apply. Terraform plan is pointed to feature branch one, which is I denote it as a development branch. Then Terraform apply is a GitHub action, which is targeted on the main branch. So uh, it, it which I denote it as a, a, a production branch. Okay. So these are the uh, GitHub action definitions, which are present under dot GitHub backward slash workflow folder. And after that, under the root, I also have two more files. One with the name um, main.terraform file, which contains the Terraform backend information. Okay, so if, as you see in the screen, so these are the Terraform backend configuration. Nothing but uh, S3 bucket where the Terraform state file will be stored. Okay, and also I have I have defined my uh, my private address. Okay, required private address that is AWS private area. Yeah. So finally, I have uh, the main and sole file uh, that is uh, dynamodb.terraform. Okay, so this is the file which contains end-to-end -end definition our end to end uh, block which is responsible for creating the uh, aws dynamo dynamo db table um, in the aws account okay so as you know that terraform we use for infrastructure as a coding right so you can use this block in in case you have a need to create the dynamo db table using the infrastructure as a code where you are using the terraform as a infrastructure as a code language yeah? and also along with that as i explained so i have the uh, two branch one is the feature branch one and the other one is the main branch okay so feature branch one i i make it as a development branch where i will do a coding and i will push it to the upstream branch from there i will do a pr against my main branch and and, and finish up the required cd task okay yeah so before i walk you through those so let me quickly walk you through this this code block okay which is responsible for creating our aws dynamo db table okay so this is the block uh, which does that okay so i will uh, i will stay here you can use the video pause method um, to copy the this code and try from try it from your end okay so one again it's a resource dynamo db table is nothing but a resource in aws right so yeah so this is the resource type that is aws underscore dynamo db underscore table okay this is where the resource type of aws dynamo db table in the form in, in terraform and this is the variable name of this particular block okay this is my variable name yeah okay inside this flower bucket block we are giving the the further required parameter okay one the first one is name that is the as i explained so this is 
uh, this table is is related to some music right so i just given the table name as indian songs okay and the table nothing but the table definitions are further 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 attributes are are my table definition okay one is billing mode of this table is pay per request nothing but as the request is is going on so pay as you go nothing but pay as you go yeah and the read capacity i'm just limiting it to 10 and, and write capacity again same yeah whereas these can be increased according to your requirement okay and then as uh, then i have the range key and and hash key being used in this table okay so first one um so as you know that that uh, when you are whenever you create a, a aws uh, dynamo db table you must define a hash key whereas the range key is not mandatory but hash key is a mandatory because through which you only you can um uh, you can keep the track of your records in the uh, in the dynamo db table okay so here hash key uh, is, is the artist one okay and it this is nothing but an attribute of the table right where the name of the uh, attribute name of the column or, or you can think it like i say is a primary column where type is string yes is nothing but string okay so this is nothing but henceforth i have just uh, wrapped it under uh, attribute okay and it is must okay and then i have one more key called a range a range underscore key that is a song title okay so why do i added uh, this you can think it as a secondary uh, key yeah has key if you think it's a primary key secondary key also needed for further uh, kind of sorting or kind of um, uh, kind of help in uh, indexing okay so so a uh, range key is is song title okay that's what i have given again i am wrapping that particular um uh, particular column so again song title is nothing but a column under under a dynamo db table okay so that's the reason it should be defined it must be defined in attribute um, uh, property or attribute argument okay again it's a name name of the column is song title and the type is string okay and finally i'm just adding a tag to this table uh, to this uh, particular dynamo db table where the name is something like this that, that that's a dynamo db um, uh, table one uh, then the production environment equal to production okay yeah so um so this is the uh, this is the code okay this is the general and basic code uh, through which you can create a diamond or db table uh, using terraform okay so before i show you the next next step that is uh, showing the demo of how you can create it using the chd task so let me give a brief about what is the dynamo db table okay so dynamo db table is is a, a a platform as a service being provided by aws where um, where table as a service okay where uh, a particular no sql table as a service will be given from the aws side okay so dynamic db is a no sql um, uh, uh, db yeah uh, where um, so where you can use the uh, we can we can um, we can use the uh, the benefit of no sql in the format of key value um, uh, records okay yeah so that's where this dynamo db comes in handy okay so this this is the majorly used dynamo db service this is a majorly used aws service for multiple purpose okay it can be used for in business level any any business it can be a healthcare or it can be um, entertainment or it can be any any variables okay this table is is used to store the no sql records okay yeah so that's just a, a basic introduction about the dynamo db table so let's go to the next step that is how you can create the this dynamic table table using the um, CACD task okay so now let me commit this change um, uh, to my local branch okay i'm just staging it let me give a, a meaningful name meaningful uh, message in the commit code yeah um dynamo db table yeah okay so now i'm committing this particular change uh, to my local branch as you see currently i'm in my local branch that is future branch on okay and the change right so there is an synchronization button we see there is a de uh, there is a need of upstream branch synchronization okay so let's do that so with by doing this synchronization what i'm doing is i'm doing a push to my upstream branch that is future branch on okay so this will in turn invoke um, uh, terraform plan github action in the github account okay let's go and see that how it how it works now okay so let's go to the uh, first let's go to this one so this is my github account yeah so this is my github account and this is the github repo okay so uh, inside this github uh, github repo i have the um, uh, two github actions okay as you see so it contains um, two branch uh, one is the main branch and the future branch one so currently we are we are making upstream synchronization to future branch one, okay let's see the github action if the github action has been invoked as you see the the github action has been invoked that is a terraform plan okay and it has successfully completed the uh, run as well so let me quickly walk you through the uh, uh, the plan that is terraform plan logs 
right it will be just um, uh, yeah it will just explain you saying like what actually the resources it's going to create okay it's going to add a, a dynamo db resources okay if you see here it's going to add a dynamo db table right so that's what the summary says us okay uh, its plan is to just add one dynamo db table in the aws account okay before i go there let me show you that the uh, this is my aws account where i'm creating the dynamo db table using infrastructure as a code a methodology of our uh, infrastructure as a code using terraform okay so till now we have just created a draft okay but we have not provisioned the required infrastructure in the aws account okay now let me do that by using the pull request okay what i do is i will make code changes to my main branch which is a which i denote it as a production branch from where the actual infrastructure provisioning happens right so to do that what i do is i will make a, a pull request against my future branch one okay where i have made the code changes right now now i need to go one step ahead and create the uh, merge the changes to my main branch so that the terraform apply github action can invoke okay so let me do that i'm just creating the uh, pull request now my previous videos all follows the same step of doing the uh, chd task henceforth i am going very fast okay so let's let's merge the changes so that the code present in the future branch one gets merged to the main branch and that will in turn invoke right which will invoke our github action called terraform apply and that finally it will create the uh, required resource in the aws account correct so um, yeah as you as you see in the screen right currently um, terraform apply yeah so this is the terraform apply that yaml uh, github action getting invoked let's go to the log and see what actually it is doing right as you see it's currently running uh, what i do is i will walk you through the uh, terraform apply lags as well uh, here and then i will show you the, the db has been created with the required uh, attributes okay so here you go it has successfully created the um, uh, dynamo db table uh, with our required format okay so as you see here it has successfully uh, created the dynamo db table right and 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 in the summary it says that it has added a G, a one resource zero changes and zero destroy okay let's go to the um uh, to the to the aws account so here you go this is my aws account where i was creating the dynamo db table using terraform and doing the cacd task okay I'm done with it and I have successfully created the Dynamo DB table. Okay, let me go inside it. Now we'll show you the items inside. Okay. So in this one, as you see, right, it has the um, this is the primary key. Yeah? That is artist, then this song. Okay, that is song title, nothing but that is a sort key or a range key. Okay, which will help us in, in retrieving the particular uh, record from the table. Okay. So before I conclude, let me create some some dummy record in this one and I will show you that. Yeah. So let's say Indian artist. Okay, let's say Lata Mangeshkar. Okay. So um, she's a, a, a pretty um, um, known singer. Yeah. So uh, Bharat Ratna uh, award winner, right? So so let's see. Uh, let's add her uh, name. Madhla uh, Lata Mangeshkar. Right. Then then um, then just add a song. Okay. Let's say. Um, in any any song okay let's say must be a song many songs right but let me add some xyz okay as of no for us because just for uh, for this record check okay so and and along with that i what i would is i would like to add one more record okay i'm not I, i'm not happy with only two records okay i need to add some more details so i can add it here with my own uh, column name right you, i can add it as a year uh, so here uh, and then then let me add year um, 2000 okay So, but yeah, let me uh, so add uh, the famous songs of Lata Mangeshkar saying like Do Palka from Veer Zara, right? So just as Do Palka Thai, uh, something like that, yeah. So let's go. Um, so let's go and add this um, um, this record in the Dynamo DB table. I'm just saving it as you see here, right? So, so here you go. This is how the uh, records are automatically gets uh, uh, added into the um, a table by using the APIs. Okay, yeah. So that's it. Uh, I have shown you the the, the required uh, um, aim of this demo. That is how you can create the Dynamo DB table, and also how you can do it via Terraform and using the GitHub Action CI CD, and also how you can uh, and and add an example records into that table record. Okay, yeah. 
so that's it i have successfully shown you the the required demo um last uh, request please do subscribe my channel uh, that would really encourage me a lot okay with that note thank you thanks a lot